Hi everyone. Hopefully we're gonna have a better session than at the beginning of the week. Uh, we had some issue with YouTube. Uh, let's get started. Uh, we're gonna start in uh, child's post. Uh, no, sorry. Yeah, child's post. Let's do it. <laughs> sorry about that. Um, so you're gonna land into your mat um, and uh, don't have your knees too wide apart. Uh, so let your knees support your rib cage. So you really want to be able to lay the ribs on top of your thigh eventually. If you have your knees wide, um, you can do it if you are pregnant, for instance, or um, if you have like pain in your lower back, that, that can help. But if you are going too wide, you would go in a back bed because that means that your thoracic spine will, will go too far down on the, on the floor, and that's not what you are trying to do. You can also do like me and put a block in between, under your head, your forehead. It's gonna help you to elongate the back of the neck and keep it pretty much neutral. You can start to activate here. Yeah, it's like a resting pose, but it's a restorative pose even. But it's very, it's a very good place to start to feel stuff. So you can press into all the finger pads you have. Again, try to keep the back of your neck long. And try to have your armpit facing one another. It's exactly the same, the same arm we would have in the downward facing back. So it's a good place to start to feel your biceps and your triceps. So you really want to have that upper arm turning externally while your forearm are turning, turning internally. And they're almost pressing towards the skin. Press your butt towards your heel. Don't forget about your hands. Don't do this in a way with your face. And use that face to really stretch your back. And maybe you're going a little further with your hands. Maybe you stretch your right, going right and left to start stretching the wicked. Last three breaths. Happy Saturday. We made it here. Start to engage your belly and see if you're touching your thighs. Keep your belly in when you're pressing, pressing to a, a tabletop position. <clears throat> and we're going to go with the traditional cat cow. So try to check your stance. You really want to have a straight line, straight line into your arms, your shoulder above your elbows, above your wrists. Your belly is engaged. You're pressing into the figure pad. Your finger are equal distance apart, they're not like super over strength, just put there nicely. Press into your, the break of your hands, you send your shoulder blades towards the sky, your neck is neutral, you're pressing into the top of your feet, inhale, open your chest, send your sit bones back and open <clears throat> your collarbone towards the front wall. Exhale, scoop your belly in, relax your head, let it go, maybe you shake a little more. Sending your shoulder blades towards the sky and the tailbone towards the front. Inhale, open up. Deep your belly in, open your collarbone. And it's not because your belly is deep that it's not engaged, so you're really keeping it inside here. Exhale, press the floor away. Take the last three rounds by yourself. Try to bring some flow to the movement, maybe. You shake your head, you like stretching your neck. Maybe you're going side to side. You can do rounds with your spine. Just continue to link your breast movement <clears throat> and warm up the middle of your body. Last one. And last exhale. When you're done with that, you're going to meet me in a neutral spine and we're going to tuck our toes under and leave them away from the floor. I have other abs exercises at the beginning of the week, but let's go to those little better. But this time, this, yeah, this time we're going to take them twisted. So we're going to bring the right knee to the left elbow, going back to center. Left knee, right elbow, center. Left 
right, left, right, left, right. Try to speed it up a little bit. Maybe you jump to extend your feet. Last six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go back to that there curl. And from here, you're gonna take your right knee into your chest and extend your leg back to the sky, modify down the both feet to the floor. Go back to the bear position. Bring your left knee to your chest and extend your left leg long and back. Both feet to the floor. Go back to bear. Bring right knee to your chest. Extend it long and back. Both feet to the floor. Last one. Knees over on the floor. Left knee to your chest, round. Extend your left leg long and back. Both feet to the floor, down the facing back. So you should have a little wound up already. We're gonna take a few rounds of rolling planks to finish up the warm up and then start rolling. So you're gonna go back to those bended knees and you're really gonna press the floor away with your hands here. You're gonna look into your, both of your hands and you're gonna to spring to plank. Bend your elbows half for chaturanga. Go back to plank. Bring your hips back to down to sit back. So we're gonna take that a few times and then we're gonna inverse, inverse the movement. So bend your knees, look at your hands, spring to plank, bend your elbows half foot. Go back to plank, hips to the sky. And you can do it even a little quicker. And bend into, land into your bend, elbows straight away, go back to down dog. So we're gonna do that. Five, four, three, two, and one. Go back to that. Down to the sing dog, and you're gonna either step step, or maybe you want to still practice those little bunny hops. So you just take little hops and try to land lightly. And maybe you take bigger hops, and you're going all the way to the front of the mat. The key is to land lightly. From here, maybe you take ragdoll pose, just Enjoy that little blood flow coming into your body. Relax your head. You can have your feet, hips with distance apart and your head again is relaxed. Release your hand, take a flat back, inhale halfway, exhale bow forward. Inhale all the way up, arm over head, extend, reach, reach, reach. Extend arm by your side. So we continue the warm up with some sun A, sun B's. And then let's have fun. And then bring your arms back up, reach, plant your feet into the floor, reach your hands overhead. Exhale, bow forward, lift your quadriceps, lift your belly. Again, you know that I'm a huge fan of either your feet hip with distance apart, that's gonna give you some space to bend into your lower back and maybe go a little lower. Or you can always take a block under your knee, your hands, or you can always stay here. So you can bend your knees a lot to touch the floor. You can just stay a little higher. And I really encourage if you want to, to work on the flexibility on your lower back, get used to the block. That's gonna help you to understand what's going on into your pelvic floor. And you're gonna feel how you can play with your lower back. You can go into the pelvic floor at another stage. So we are here all the way down. Inhale, flat back, breathe it. With your flat back, bend your knees, plant your hand, and step, step to the back of the mat. 
So we're going to do a little bit more of what we were just doing, but we're going to reverse the, the motion. So we're going to start with the Chaturanga push-up. From here, we're going to bend our knees a little bit, and we're going to press our hands to bring our butt towards our heels, and then strengthening our legs, hips to the sky. From here, look at your hands, go to your Chaturanga push-up, bend your knees, press into your hand, and bring your hips back to the sky. And you take like that circular motion for your, with your entire body. Don't forget your head, your head, sorry. And use your gaze to drive your movement. Then your elbows, then your knees, bring your hips back. And last one. Be in hell through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. So we should be warm now. So again, look in between your thumb. Maybe you bend your knees a little bit or you just step, step, float to the front of the mat. Then lightly, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, arm by the side. Last one, inhale, arms up. Exhale, bow forward, lift your quadriceps. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, with your flat back, plant your hands and step, step to the back of the room. Bend your elbows alongside your big chaturanga. Flip your feet upward, your torso upward facing dog. Bring your hips back to the sky, downward facing dog. And Nabi is saying hi to you guys. Press into your hands, press into your finger pads into the ball of your feet and elongate your heels toward the back of the room. Inhale, look in between your hands, bend your knees, and hop, fly, or step to the front of the mat. Inhale, half lift. exhale, four. Inhale, press your hand while you're lifting your arms overhead, exhale, arm by your side. Inhale, bend your knees, Halfway, like 90, 90 degrees angle towards the floor and upward your torso as much as you're bending your knees. You're looking while your chest is going, so you're looking towards your hands. From here, bring your hands to your heart center and just twist. So you're not going to take the hook, we're just going to warm up our spine. So you're just twisting towards the right and try to align. You, you thumb and your chest. Inhale, go back to center. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart center and twist to the other side. Like you would love to hook your left elbow, your right elbow with your left thigh, but it doesn't work. So it's really on your obliques and on your spine. Keep your spine long, crown of the head towards the front wall, belly in. Go back to center and bow forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands and step, step to the back of the mat. For the people who want to jump back, I really like, I'm not really a huge fan of not seeing you and teaching you jump back, but if you really want to do it, you need to land in bend elbows. Otherwise, you're going to kill your shoulder. So it's I can show you now. You plant in your hands, you're keeping your flat back, your spine is to come. You're going to look there while you're sending your feet back. So plant your hands, look forward, and send your hips back, belly in, you're landing in bend elbows. You're pressing into your hand to apply the torso, upward facing dog, bring your hips back to the sky, downward facing dog. On the next inhale, you're going to bring your right heel towards the sky. Bring your right knee to your chest, like as high as you can. Don't lift your butt, lift your knee. And step your right foot in between your hands. Inhale, uh, sorry, exhale. Put, put your left knee on the floor. And you are in no lunge. Maybe you bring your block close to your front feet. On your inhale, you're going to dip your hip and apply your torso as much as you can. 
extend, you're gonna tuck your back to under and extend both of your legs to take long climbing pose. Inhale, rebend into your front knee, upward the torso, bring your belly in, exhale, press into both of your feet. And you're on the ball of your back feet that's gonna help to bring some space into your pelvic floor. Your neck is neutral, it's looking forward. Inhale, last one, bend your front knee, upward the torso, exhale, extend both of your legs. Look forward and bring your left knee to meet your right feet. Sorry about that. <laughs> exhale, bow forward. Maybe you keep hip distance apart between your feet. Inhale, flat back. With your flat back, with your, bring your arm overhead. Exhale, arm by your side. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Bring your hips down while you upright in your torso and bring your hands toward the front wall. Exhale, bow forward, lift your gaze. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. With your flat back, either you step step or you jump very far to your mat. Press into your hand, upward facing dog, bring your hips back to the sky, downward facing dog. Next, inhale, bring your left heels towards the sky. Your leg is super straight and your arm are still very much square to the front of the room. You're pressing into your finger pad. Exhale, bring your into your chest, press your fl the floor away to give some space to that knee, to that leg, and try to not lift your butt left, just lift your knee. Step your left foot to the front of the room, empty your right knee to the floor. Maybe you're grabbing your block a little bit to take the stretch into your right hip flexor while you upright your torso, belly in, crown of the head high. On your next exhale, you're gonna curl your back to under and extend both of your legs to take long pyramid pose. And your hips stay square to the front of the room. So again, maybe you need to take some space between both of your hips and that's the diaphragm. Inhale, rebend your front knee. Try to keep that back leg super engaged while you apply your torso. Exhale, extend both of your legs. Keep your spine straight. Inhale, last one, deep. Bend your front knee while you dip into your right, right hip flexor. Keep your hips square by pressing into your front heel towards your back toes. Exhale, bring both legs super straight. Inhale, look forward, bring your right knee, right feet, sorry, to meet your left. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, halfway lift. With your flat back, go all the way up, arm overhead. Exhale, arm by your side. Okay, last one, and then we start to flow. Inhale, with katasana chair pose, bend your knees up onto your torso, arm straight. Look toward your head. Exhale, bow forward, lift your belly. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, with your flat back, plant your hands and jump, jump, or step. <laughs> step, step, or jump to the back of the room. Inhale, Uddha Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha, use your belly to bring your hips back up. Inhale, right heel towards the, the sky. Try to keep your hips square and your shoulders square. Exhale, bring your right uh, feet in between your thumb and upward your torso high lunge. Exhale, arms back down to the mat and your elbows are away. Alpha Chaturanga, upward your torso, use your belly to bring your kids back to the sky. Inhale, left heel toward the sky, press into your hands. Left knee to your chest and step your left feet in between your thumb. Inhale, high lunge. Maybe you bend a little bit into your, your back knee. It's going to help to bring that thigh a little closer to the floor. Don't hurt your lower back, so try to find that right posture into your back leg. Reach with your hand when you're putting your belly in. Exhale, hands to the mat all the way through Chaturanga, if you can flip your feet up on the torso, bring your hips back to the sky, down to the sky. Inhale, 
look forward in between your hands, maybe you bend your knees and you jump or step to the front of the mat. Lens softly, inhale, half lift, exhale, bow forward. Inhale, bend your knees, approach your torso, Utkatasana chair pose, exhale, Samastiti, hand to your heart center, and by your side. I think we are warm, so we can get rolling. Inhale, bring your arms back overhead. Exhale, bow forward, lift your quadriceps. So, just so you know, guys, while we are here, it should be pretty comfortable. You can at any time take a child's pose, the suppose we start with. You can take at any time a sip of water. If you don't feel good or if you feel dizzy, just stop for a little bit and you can join us anytime. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, bow forward, plant your hands with your flat back and step, step, or jump to bend elbows. If you step, just bend your elbows this time, Chaturanga. Your neck is neutral, your belly is in. Upward your torso, Udva Mukha. Bring your hips back to the sky. So we're going to continue with those twists. Now we're going to do some balancing pose. And um, I used to say in my classes, please keep the sense of humor, have fun and do your best. So let's do that. There is nobody watching you, you are at home most likely. So yeah, try it. Try and if you fall, try to get back to that. Inhale, bring your right heel towards the sky. Exhale, right knee, left elbow, twist. Bring it back up. Right knee, right elbow. And we're gonna keep that right knee where it is and we're gonna lower it to the right wrist. We're gonna bring it to the left wrist, left elbow. We're gonna make some square with our knee. And so we're doing right elbow, right wrist, left elbow, Left wrist, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, center, and step your right foot in between your thumb. Empty your, your back heel toward the sky to find warrior two feet, front heel back arch alignment. Open your arms side to side and land into warrior two. Bend into that front knee far wheel. Again, front heel back arch alignment. Your front toes are light and your knees is pointing towards the second and the third big toe. Your left shoulder is going a little bit back and you're pressing your hands into the front. You're going to bring your hands in your low, at your lower back and entrelace. It's going to help to have your shoulder square in between above your hips. You're going to flip your back heel and go to that modify um, low lunge, I would say, or uh, yeah, uh, type of like lightning water. And really make your spine as long as possible. You want to keep your bend into your front knee and frame your face with both, both of your arms. So your torso is not moving, it's really just your arm. On your next exhale, bring your hand at your heart center. And this time we're going to hook or left elbow to your right knee to take that twist you are prepared, preparing your area. And you really want to use the pressure of your elbow and your knee to open your chest to the side. And you're trying to reach the middle of your heart center towards your thumb. So you don't want your armpit to be here. You really want to press here. And you're sinking up dog into your also, that's going to help to keep your spine long. You're going to find a point which is not moving, maybe a little bit up front your mat, and you're going to bring your left feet meeting your right foot in twisted chair. So we are low, and our arm are to the side. And I'm right there with you, so I know it's a bit long. We're going to lift our right heel, away from the floor, and maybe all the right foot away from the floor. And we're going to keep that twist here. And we're going to keep the contact of our elbow with them. 
open your arms side to side and you're in standing twist. Maybe, I'm going to go back to my mat. <laughs> I'm going to do that like that so you see me. So you are here, right? Standing, standing twist. You can either get a hold at your knee or you can maybe grab the side of your foot to extend your foot to the front wall while you're opening your chest to the side wall. And you're using your, the pressure of your leg and your hand to open your chest a little bit more. Front of the head high. Release your feet. So if your knee was bent, there is no reason why it should be bent now. Extend, extend, extend. Square your torso towards your front foot and bring your right ankle on top of your left knee to take stand with your front. And you can bring your hands at your heart center. So it's kind of like you landing in there. Even if it's not a easy pose, there is just like one leg not being on the floor, so it's a bit easier. Put your right feet landing close to your left foot. You can keep that little katasana kind of thing. And from here, we're going to interlace our hands like finger pointer type of thing. And we're going to bring our left leg toward the back wall and our pointer finger toward the front wall. And we are in like modified warrior three. Extend, get big, get as long as you can. Maybe you are lucky to have a wall behind you, so flex your feet and step into that wall. And from here, we're going to go to Degasana, which is airplane pose. So that right leg is not going to move, but we are bringing our shoulder above our hips. And maybe you're using your arms to open that shoulder a little higher. Like you're having your little block above your butt, that's going to help you bring your shoulder above it as well. Exhale, relook at the mat, that's why the juice, and bring your arm back overhead to take another warrior. Three. Extend at the way the juice is at the hardest. Bend into your front knee to bend lightly into high lunge. Sorry. So you are in high lunge with your right knee in front. Open your stand to land into warrior two. Go back to where we started. Extend that poor front right leg, which is dying. Get your stand a little shorter, maybe the length of one of your old leg in between both of your feet. And you're going to look at your back hand to lower your torso toward your front leg, triangle pose. And the stand, stand is exactly the same as we were just doing with wire two. It's just slightly shorter. Rebend into your front leg, so you're keeping that right hand where it is, either outside or inside of your front leg. I would always recommend outside, that's helping your chest to stay open and we're an extended triangle. You can also bring your right forearm onto your knee and you can bring your arm, left arm overhead to take the stretch into your side ribs. The stand is the same and both of your knees quadricep size are pressing toward the back wall. Maybe you look peekaboo under your armpit, and maybe you want to bring your right arm facing your, framing your face as well. Babies in, hello obliques, bend a little bit more into your front knee. Try to keep your chest open, flip your back heel, empty your hands to the left. Bring your right foot to plank pose, Maybe you're keeping it lifting, like a chaturanga push-up. Keep your feet up around the torso. Bring your hips back to the sky, if I want to see that. So we're going to flow through that. We're going to take it to the left side. Then we're going to make it a little quicker. And um, we can play with some propos if we have time. I know I told I can do that every week, so one day we will have time. And you can also try to do that three leg, three 
Yep, straight leg down dog type of thing. It's just one arm in the front to be exercise for your very practice. Anyway, let's go back to where we were. When you right, your left heel towards the sky, keep your shoulder square to the front of the mat. Bring your left heel in between your arm. I forgot, guys, the abs exercise, so we're not going to forget. Bring your left knee towards your right uh, knee, uh, elbow, sorry. Bring it back up. Okay, I'm back on track. Left knee, left elbow. Left knee, left wrist. Right wrist, right elbow. Left, left, right, right. Left, left, right, right. Last one, left, left, right, right, center, and step. Fix your feet first. Front heel back out alignment. And bringing your arm open to go to warrior two. Index finger away from one another, belly in. And you really want to press those back of our legs towards the back wall. Front heel, second toe alignment. And I'm really getting as low as possible. 90 degree angle into that front foot. Ventralize your arm behind your back, open your chest. That's helping to have our shoulders above our hips. Flip your back toe and go to that modified lunge. Feel in front of the head towards the front wall, neck neutral. Bring your arm to face your, to, sorry, to frame your face and bring your hands to your heart center. Take an inhale here, get really, really low. Because if you don't have length, you cannot twist. So get long, and then on your exhale, you're twisting right elbow outside of your left knee. You're sinking up dog in your chest, and you're using the leverage of your elbow and you need to get together. And the twist are massaging our entire organs. So always good for us. You find a place which is not moving, and maybe you take a little bit of air time with your right leg to bring your right foot close to your left. Go a little lower, we commit to your twisted chair. Maybe you take an inhale and an exhale. If you didn't breathe in a while, and you're gonna lift your left heel first, and then maybe your left toes. And flex your feet as big as you are, putting it away from the floor that's helping to engage your leg. And now that you land, you can remove the touch of your elbow and you open your arm side to side. Maybe you get a hold of your knee to help. Did you see? You really want to help that standing leg to be as straight as possible. And maybe you look at your back hand. Maybe you extend. That flying one, but if it doesn't work, that's totally fine. Extend both of your arms side to side and bring your torso face, facing the front wall. Bring your left knee as high as you can and bring your left ankle on top of your right knee to take stem of your far. Arm at, our, at your heart center. If you want another challenge, maybe you bring your arm overhead, or you can also take the bind as we were taking earlier to challenge your balance and then get your core. I'm just gonna go here for the sake of the flow. And we're gonna land our left foot into the mat. Keep your and that your heart center, you can also entrelace as we did before. And we're gonna to go to warrior three. Or some people call it stick pose with those <laughs> arm variation. So warrior three, you can either take your arm alongside your face. You can also do that entrelacing. You can keep your arm at your chest. If you do that, that, that variation, you want to check that your shoulders are not going towards the floor. So you really want to keep your chest open 
where your torso is parallel to the floor. We're gonna remove that interlace, maybe take a little bend into your left bend, standing leg to approach your torso and go to Dekasana, airplane pose. So you really want to take off. So you want your shoulder above your hips. Belly in, get tall into your torso. And we're gonna go back to warrior three. This is the juice again. Your feet is parallel to both sides of your mat and your flying feet is super flex. Bend into your left knee again to land in pressing lunge. Belly in, try to reach high and open up to warrior two where we started. Straightening your left leg. Maybe you should you shorten your stand a little bit. Look at your back hands and lower your torso to triple a triangle pose. And you opening your chest towards the sky while you're trying to keep your torso as long as possible. Your spine is also super long. I don't want to see any twisted spine. From here, you're gonna rebound into the front knee and go to extended side angle. So either you're having your forearm, or maybe you have a block outside of your front feet, and extend your right arm over your head. And you carve your butt cheek under. Your left butt cheek is going under the cap. Maybe you're gonna bring your left arm to from your face as well. Spine straight, breathe. Flip your back feet and go back to that lightning warrior. Both hands to the mat, both feet to the back of the room. Then pose, then your elbows halfway chaturanga. Flip your feet, upward your torso, upward facing dog. Bring your hips back to the sky, downward facing dog. So we're going to do a little exercise. I don't know if you're going to find this one, but you're going to take a short down dog and you're going to make sure that you can do that little um, movement. So I mean, yeah, like you need to be able to bring your head um, to pass your hands basically. And we're gonna bend your uh, elbows to bring the crown of our head towards the floor and then pressing back up. You wanna try? Let's go. We're gonna do four of them. It seems super easy. Just let me know what you think. <laughs> and don't forget to breathe. So inhale, exhale, print the top of your feet, the top of your head. Press the floor away. Keep your legs straight as on ahead. That's two. Three. And four. Walk your hands back to meet your feet. And you're gonna take Padasana. So you're gonna slide your hands in between your feet, not in between, uh, under your feet, and you have your toes breathing your wrists. Relax your head. Maybe you take a flat back in hand and exhale, power forward. As you can see, my legs are super bent. It's super fine to just take what you need here. Maybe you sway side to side. Release your hands and take a nice walk back to the north facing dog. Okay, we're gonna need, we're gonna do that once more, a little faster, and I'm sure you're gonna do amazing. Inhale, lift your right heel towards the sky. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, bring it back up. 
like the right elbow, right twist, left twist, left elbow, right, right, left, left, center, step, your feet through. Fix your feet fast, open your chest, two length wire to neutralize your hands, open your chest, flip your back feet, and go to that modifier lunge. Release that neutralize from your front, from your face, and bring on your legs. Exhale, your arms, your arms, your hands to your heart. Inhale, get long, get tall. Exhale, twist. Hook your left elbow towards your right knee. Keep your chest open, sink up dog into your torso. Put your belly in, find a spot which is not moving, and fly that left feet to meet your front one. And you're gonna land as slow as possible to twist the chair. Keep your torso open to the side wall. Lift your left heel. Think about breathing and keep your belly in. Lift your left toes away from the floor and unfold your torso. Open your chest. Maybe you grab the side of your feet. Extend. Get tall, get big. And twist a little bit more on your next exhale. Release your feet. Try to not slingshot it. Get your leg, both of your legs as straight as possible. And you square your torso to the front wall. Bring your right ankle on top of your left knee. And bring your hands to your heart center. Standing for your foot. Bring your, leg, your right foot on the mat. Entrelace your hands. And bring your left foot to the back of the room. And maybe you extend your arm overhead to take a variation of wires. Remove the entrelace. Bring your forearm alongside your torso while you're priting your shoulder. And you're going to take off airplane pose. Everything is engaged. Your flying leg is super engaged. Your baby and your standing leg are super engaged. Go back to warrior three by taking your little bend into your front. Standing leg. Land very lightly into high lunge. Open your feet side to side, warrior two. Straightening your front leg. And extend your torso as much as possible. To land onto your front. Chin. And open your chest, try and repose. We bend into your front knee. Keep your back foot where it is, maybe just one, one heel toe to straighten and like making your stand a little wider. Right left, no, sorry, left arm alongside your face, right arm alongside your face. Close your chest to the mat, both hands to the front, both feet to the back. Bend your elbows half up, just longer, apart your torso. And use your belly to bring your hips back to the sky. Watch your see back. Okay, last side. Bring your left heel towards the, the sky. Left knee, right elbow. Bring it back up in here. Left knee, left elbow. Left wrist, right wrist, right elbow. Left, left, right, right, left, left, center, and step. Fix your feet, winning your arm open. Quiet. Entrelace your hands up on the chest, flip your back heel, modify high lunge or low lunge. Get as tall as you can with the crown of your head while you're framing your face with both of your arms. 
hands at your heart center and twist your right uh, elbow to your left knee. Maybe you take a little flying moment to bring both of your feet toward the front of the mat. Use the leverage of your elbows and your knees to open your chest a little bit more. Inhale, get long. Exhale, lift your, your heel first of your left foot. Take an inhale, find a place which is not moving, and exhale, apart your torso. Open your hands side to side. Twist, standing twist. Maybe you grab your knee, maybe you grab your toe, and you're getting as tall as possible with your spine. Release what you get hold on. Open your arms side to side and close your chest to the front wall. Maybe this time you extend your leg. Five, four, three, two, one. And lend your left ankle on top of your right knee. When you're taking that standing figure four, arm to your center. Put your left feet onto the mat and bring your right heel flying behind you. Maybe you introduce your hand at your heart center to take that sticky pose. Extend, get long. Everything is super engaged. Your flying leg, your arms, and your standing leg. Take off, take asana. Bring your arms, your arms, sorry, <laughs> to get behind you and your shoulder are above your hips. And as if you are really as I am, maybe you use your breath and you use something that is not moving somewhere to just make you more stable. Reparallel your torso to the mat, warrior three, to land very lightly in a high lunge with both of your arms overhead. Open your chest, while you're two. We're going back where we were. And straightening that front leg for triangle pose. Look at your back hand and extend as much as you can. And I speak about that, and I know it's getting old to get here, but your spine is super, super long. That's the key of those twists. In here, it's like really to use your spine to twist rather than like traumatize it. Rebend to your front knee and take extended triangle. So again, either you have your forearm on top of your left leg or you have your arm outside of your front knee and you press into that back leg, super engaged as well. Maybe you frame your face with both of your arms. Keep, keep your chest open. Your spine is still super long. Close your chest, parallel to your mat. Put both hands to your mat, both feet to the back of the room. Bend your elbows half a touch around there. Keep your feet across the top, so torso, upward facing dog. Bring your hips back to the sky, downward facing dog. So we have literally three minutes to do some pro, pro pose, some um, exercise. So I can, I'm going to propose you because we did a lot on our shoulder, a little bit everywhere, but we have some twists, we have some mobility into our body. So um, either you want to practice your core, and I think that's a great pose to practice. There is many variations, and core is asking a lot of strength and a lot of flexibility. So it's great if you don't master it, please work on that. And so I'm going to drive you through that. I have three things that you can play with for today from the three minutes we have. So either we're taking crow, and crow is both big toes, both of the big toes are pressing towards one another. And we are very, very small ball, like super, super small. And you're trying to put your elbows, no, your knees, sorry, into your armpits. So the key is to really have that 
as high as possible. And for that, it's really to do that cut back you were doing at the very beginning of the, of the class. You look forward, you look where you're going. If you're looking down, your chest is gonna go down. So you really want to go forward and you're just gonna try to take off here, right? So either we're keeping our toes on the mats, maybe we're lifting one toes, we're lifting one another. Or if you really want to try to take off, you're putting your belly in, you're pressing everything you can, and you're lifting both toes, pressing towards another at the same time. So you can practice that. You can also practice to go on your head. So I'm not gonna drive you through headstand, but we did a few stuff. So you can take rabbit pose, which is knees like that. You're gonna take your tripod and stand, press your head. You want to do a triangle with both of your hands and your head. So don't get too like hands and head at the same time, you're never gonna get. So you really want to put straight arm here and your head is going a little further. That's what we were doing during those push up earlier. And maybe just from here, you're putting, you're pressing your, your hips towards the sky. And that's already giving you a great impression on how it is going when we are on our heads. And you can just go back. Press up and take a chance pose. So that's one other option. If you want to go a little further, you can just do exactly the same as the tripod. So again, it's like a nice equilateral triangle type of thing. And maybe from here, you're going to put one knee on one forearm and the other knee on the other forearm. And that's it. And for people who are proficient, you can combine the pro and the headstand. You can do pro, headstand, go back to pro and shoot it back. I think if you are masterizing that, text me and we'll work on some other stuff. So you have a minute and a half left for you to practice whatever you want. If you don't want to practice, have a sip of water. And maybe you, you do um, a little um, yogi push-up, as I was doing to you earlier, you go on the top of our head. I'm just going to try to do that. Uh, And my elbows are staying like as close to my body as possible. All right, last 20 seconds. So if you're still working, try to come down to your mats. And let's find a seated posture onto our mats. Um, so we're gonna um, take some uh, side stretch, side, side stretch, not too much twisted. So from here, we're gonna open our legs. So you're gonna have, for instance, the left leg into extend it in front of you and the right leg is bended on the back and uh, we're going to take a block for people who need a block if you don't that's great if you don't actually i'm going to do something else and you're going to place the block alongside your left leg inside or outside i prefer outside it's just because again it's helping me to open my chest a little bit more so I'm going to press my left elbow into that block that I put close to my hip. And I'm going to open my chest toward the wall, thanks to my right hand. And then I'm going to bend my right leg 
So we right hand over to the left foot. And it's really gonna stretch the side of my leg and also my rib cage on the right side. Try to stay as long as possible in your spine. Use the pressure of your left arm on the block to open a little bit more. Last five breaths. With your left feet is flex as well. And for people who are comfortable, you can zap, you can also put your left hand under and grab your right side. Apply the torso, and we're just gonna simply switch sides. So extend your right leg in front of you, bend into your back left knee, put a block outside of your right leg. If you are comfortable, you can go under your left, your left thigh, and that's gonna really just the weight of the, that leg is going to help to just twist a little bit more. And if it's not comfortable, again, that's why the block is here. You can just be here. And there are some people who can even grab their foot, their left foot, in the twist. The right foot is flex. And you pick up on the armpit to use the verge of your what's on the floor to open your chest a little bit more, spine long. Last three. Last two. Last one. Across your torso. Bring both of your leg open side to side. Maybe you move your butt cheek away. Try to get tall, get high. And then on your exhale, keep your spine long. The last time I say it from the class, I swear. And maybe you lowering your torso down. So there is people who are able to put the torso all the way down. There is people like me where we're a little bit stuck, but it's totally fine. You can use whatever support you have to just relax a little bit more. Maybe that works. Is that works exactly, and really the kids to just feel where we are. One day get better. Maybe you close your eyes, try to keep your feet flexed towards the, the sky. Maybe you send your butt cheek a little bit back to elongate the spine. Relax your head. If you see and you know that your brain is already going to the next thing, maybe you count your breaths. Take a big inhale across your torso. We're going to take a little back bend very quick. If you have the fabric back bend, please help yourself. Otherwise, we're going to take a bridge pose. And, uh, and rest a little bit. So we're just going to lower all the way to our back. Maybe for the girls of the class, you can remove your ponytail if you do have one. It's going to help yourself to relax. It's sending signal to your body that the work is over. You're making sure that your knees are above your ankle. Grab the side of the mat. Take a big inhale. On your exhale, bring your hips align with your knees and your shoulder and put the mat apart. Tear it apart as much as you can. Bring your hips high. Last four. Three. 
harder. Last two. Last one. Bring your hips to the floor. Maybe you open your knees side to side and we take a short break. Shavasana. Maybe you have one arm on your baby, but one arm on your heart. And you breathe. If you can stay a little longer to your shadow side, please help yourself. Otherwise, if you need to get going with your day, maybe you use both of your hands to bring your knees back to the center. Bring your knees to your chest, give yourself a big squeeze, a big hug. Thank yourself. Maybe you're giving yourself a little kiss on both knees. Maybe you sway side to side. And you can take fetal position. Or however you want to meet me in a seated posture. Thanks for taking the time to be here today. I wish you a great Thursday and a good long weekend. Thanks for your trust. We bow to each other. Namaste. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.